doing my three. I'm just going to um, walk in blue. Just in the fields and now back. So she's panting. Okay. So just come up the field around just heading back. It's quiet on there. It part yesterday and it depends on what time I think you go. Really, so I'm gonna go home now, have a drink, and I'm gonna give Ruby a nice big bowl of cold ice cold water to cool down. Yep, so let's start off with the weather, the weather this week has been absolutely gorgeous. It's gone a bit cooler and fresher, but we like that. So the heat week started a week on Friday, a week ago on Friday, just gone, which would have been the 16th of July. It got hotter, I think it peaked on Thursday, we're about 80 degrees. So it's really nice, like being in the summer. I mean, where? We're going to in a holiday. Set out the pool. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Whoa, what I've done there. Well, um, yeah. So, and then it's going to go, and it's gone much cooler over the past two days, so it's bound about 21, 22 today, so it's blue sky still, sun is still out, but a nice gentle breeze compared to Thursday. Thursday was just poor heat. So, yeah, much more bearable for a blue because of a coat. Anyway, I went there, uh, took out yesterday and today. No. The afternoon was the first time all week just because of how hot it has been. And it also, down to that, she's long haired dog. Dogs like a bulldog and um, like bulldogs, all types and pugs of like prone to heat stroke because of the. So pugs it's down to the fat, not fat, flat face, faces, and also it's down to, I think, bulldogs is something to do with, with how their noses are, because cause of how the belt, they've got like squished noses and that can like really block the air race so they struggle to breathe so yeah so the kids are off school now well i say the kids the twins are off school for six weeks and go back in september which means that the river might will be will be ish next week because it's all very safe in the school we we'll to have some rain next week and some sunshine and showers. Just <laughs> a few a few of dry dry days, let me say. In so I'm just going to cross the road here. Yeah, so it's just getting cross. 
So, let me talk about COVID. Which opened yesterday on Friday. On Friday and Saturday, so just go after what you're saying. Been quite safe again. Try it in two weeks and now need additional times. And then you'll come out with three more bits so she can see. So yeah. All these cultural claim products. And do trace. But always come out, you know what happens. Always come out with one thing. Or go in there for one thing and come out with a couple of bits. I didn't need but yeah um, always like that's cross come on boo go oh. just talking to boo do you have a little sunglasses up because I don't I can see the camera really well with them, them on. So, that said, moving on to COVID. So, all rules in England have been relaxed. They've, after 18 months, they've gone. Because three of them, they've come and gone. So, nightclubs can reopen. It's all everywhere open. Masks are now personal responsibility. Or down to personal companies. All the seat markets have come out, I said. Um, it's like so Max and now Jan's mutual companies you know that's not the case because I went in Tesco no one on the door and they're supposed to have I went to my local big Tesco <sighs> so I get Tesco extra um They have sh shoved something in place called the traffic light system, which stops people going in when it's too busy. The light appeared to be broken because everyone's piling in. No one on the door. Um, Stopping people wearing masks. And then. What else? I'm trying to think now. More of a mask. About 75% of people is busy in there as well. No one in the door, don't know if you can move out a mask. Not saying, if you've got a mask, can you please wear one? All the staff look like they're giving up on wearing one either. I don't mind tills because they've got the plastic screens on. You know, I did use to come in the shop. So, yeah, so, and I found it much more pleasant yesterday when I went to Aldi, Sainsbury's. Quality safe, all safe and measures in place. They, everyone, I said 90% of people are counting. Yesterday, which would have been Saturday, were my mask contact to around about 60%. So I don't know whether it was busy or not. So, a couple things as well, going back to COVID, is the ping den up so on the, so, it's called the NHS, track and trace app. I think it is called that when it uses Bluetooth to ping you to say, oh, you need to start scanning to somewhere. So say if you're going to a restaurant, you have to scan in 
and then you become in close, close contract with someone. Close contract with someone. It's hefty, close to you get pinged and then tow. So isolate for 10 days. Is causing problems because so many are getting pinged because the cases are going all up the slightly down last week. So, yeah, so I think everyone went early to Tesco again. Cool bits, but it's mainly fresh stuff like just if it's no butter, stuff for picnics, drinks. But I think that was down to the heat wave. You know, I picked got much, much, how much I wanted out there which I could always get on I could have got on Saturday anyway from Sainsbury's and that how um, bits and miles of that we like to get out there come on babe we can get in the middle right we can get across come on yeah so that's what happened. So also, going back, so you know it's no longer table service and pubs and restaurants, with social contact, gone unlimited numbers at Reading, funerals, blah blah blah. So everything's just gone back to normal. No social distancing. Blah blah blah. Um, so, uh, generally, do you think some restrictions will come in, like wearing your face? Mask will come compulsory again if cases continue to rise or oh, wherever we have another peak in the winter. I think we might have another lockdown in the winter. due to the winter virus or respiratory viruses being more easily contracted in winter so okay hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again next week for another day in life.